Hey everyone, this is Red with uh, RedDragonLeo.com. Um, I didn't see much reason to do a post again today because pretty much today was a non-eventful day. We didn't do anything but trade sideways, so I'm just going to give you a little video here as an update, and uh, and that should just cover everything. Uh, as you can see, we started a new week here on the weekly chart, and uh, we're again at the top here. Uh, of this bar and we have not sold down but the week is still young so you know we don't know what can happen um, right now it does look like that uh, it's wanting to roll up and again we are going to the summer months so you know I wouldn't be surprised to see um, this sell-off that uh, that we're looking for um, you know not materialize and us just kind of trade sideways if this thing recycles and sets back and goes back up and puts in a uh, lower uh, histogram tower on the negative side and even if it possibly goes up and goes positive on the positive side and rolls over and puts in a small you know hump like like that area there uh, this could be drug out for you know several months uh, it could be September before it happens I mean you know I'm a bear so you know this is miserable for for me to, to see this but uh, you know this is what it's showing uh, of course, this bar here, you know, well, it's only day one, so we really don't know. Now, if it ends up the week, and we do have a sell-off, and this bar comes down here lower, then that'll straighten back out, and we'll be headed lower. But but this being options expiration week, I really don't see that happening. Um, you know, here we're trading sideways. We're not above. Um, we're at 46.77 on the RSI, so that's still bear territory. If it's 33, that means there's two uh, two uh, stocks being sold for every one being bought, which is very bearish. If it's 66 or above, then it means it's um, two to one buying. So that's what that means. We still don't have a cross here. I think this is going to stretch out, and I think it's going to trade sideways. I really do. I think we're going to get fooled, uh, and I think it's going to go up uh, over the course of time. Let's go on to the daily. As you can see, the daily right here with the um, ADX lines we are losing strength on the ADX line the negative DI line is falling and the uh, positive is eh, you know kind of flat but it's rising up from where it was so um, you know I think it's gonna have a little crisscross action there for a little while uh, until it decides to make a move at least all this week okay uh, next week's another story uh, but as you can see right now on the RSI, it's at 50.96. If this, so it's crossed over the 50 mark. So if this thing, you know, runs up here to 66, um, bears are in trouble. It's going up. It's going to go higher. I mean, again, two to one buying versus selling. Um, and and you can see it is turning and going up. Uh, you know, this you could call this an indecision candle. But how the heck do you call it that when it was just such a low volume day? You really can't call it anything. Just a sideways day. Um, so, and uh, here we are looking for a lower tower on the histogram bar uh, than this one here to put in a negative divergence. If it puts in a higher higher tower, then obviously we are going higher, and that would be a positive divergence. Now, I don't know if it's going to be able to do that because that's a pretty high one, and um, so you know if it does, it does. We just have to see. That means again that the weekly would have to to support it. To, to come up and going back to that weekly real quick um, again you know you're looking at it and it's not showing one way or the other it's middle ground right now it could turn at the end of this week and fall off a cliff I really don't think it will I think there's just too much bearishness out there right now unfortunately so anyway let's move on to the uh, 60 minute chart nothing to see here on the 60 minute chart as you can see we did sell off a little bit we went down into negative territory and it looks like it already wants to roll back up I mean it is crossing down but I mean the slow stochastics here is pointing back up even if it goes down tomorrow uh, that might be our B leg retracement on this move we're just being a big A and maybe a B down to I don't know maybe 1060 area if, if you're lucky we get 1040 you know uh, where that support is but um, somehow I don't see it but you know it's possible um, so you can draw a line from here 
let's see here to here to here where that gap is right into here and, and that puts you at about 1050 so maybe to go in that area it's possible but you can see we are in an uptrend and the ADX line is now gaining strength unfortunately it's gaining strength um, here the a positive DI line though is falling so even though it's gaining strength that tells you that uh, there is a possibility that it could turn and go down a little bit uh, tomorrow but with that daily supporting it you know that's going to be you know a little bit tougher for it to fall too far uh, again until that daily gets worn off go on the 15 minute chart and you can see it's still pointing out but it's just like a nothing day it's hard to just read these days because anything can happen as you know we could um, and it's just kind of pointless to look at these right here because it's just the light volume just it skews everything and it's very very difficult to, to to get a read on it at any time they could come up with stage some another event and and boom there could be a big sell-off um but you know i i just don't think they're going to i think they're going to take it up to uh 41 that print i was telling you about um uh, and then when they're done with that uh then the, then there could be a big sell-off uh, possibly it's I, again i'm reaching out there and uh, even the monthly yes we're bearish the weekly we're still bearish um until this week ends and we'll see where it goes because again if on this weekly if this bar becomes lower and this starts to roll back up and this continues to roll back up after this week is done then i would again say that we are going up in a in a wave two up on the weekly and uh this was a wave one down and that's what i would just say but again i'm not an elliott wave person so i don't know but it just looks to me like this was a uh one 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 down two up right there at that peak um three down here four up at that peak and then wave five down here so it's like five waves inside of one large one wave um and um and then this would be the wave two up so we could go up another week and then maybe the week after options expiration then we could sell down for the wave two and or the wave b you'd be an abc uh on the way up i believe and so it'd be like three waves up so you could go uh, up this week and um and then maybe down the week after options expiration and then maybe back up for a c wave to fool everyone um possibly we you know again we just got to look at it uh you know a little bit at a time but you know the monthly is still showing that we're headed down it's not showing that uh, we are moving up or anything like this there's no turn or anything but um you know that's a it's a it's tougher to read because that's just a long term out so, uh, but that's it. Uh, we're pretty much the same place we was on Sunday's video. So, um, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow.